So we're here with Dr. Derek DeRoyth from Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City, and we're talking about diabetes. We've had a nice discussion of diabetes type 1, and now we're going to get into diabetes type 2. Um, maybe you could start, Dr. DeRoyth, by describing the differences between diabetes type 1 and diabetes type 2. So diabetes type 1, as we mentioned, is when you lose the insulin secretion from the beta cell, from the pancreas, and you are dependent totally on insulin. In type 2 diabetes, which is a much more common disease, um, and I'll describe the uh, genetics involved, it's very strongly familial and very strongly genetic. There's a strong component, different from type 1. Mm -hmm. There's also the aspect of obesity. And with the obesity epidemic that's happening worldwide, there's a movement and an epidemic of type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. So there's a tremendous increase in both obesity and type 2 diabetes, and the two are related. In obesity and type 2 diabetes, with the overweight, tissues like the muscle, the liver, the fat cell, don't respond to insulin. Mm -hmm. We call that insulin resistance. What happens then is the beta cell of the pancreas attempts to overcome that by making more insulin. Mm -hmm. So whereas in type 1 you have this deficiency in insulin, mm -hmm. in type 2 at the beginning of the disease, and when they're obese and then become diabetic, you have more insulin production. And that increase in insulin production and levels in the bloodstream actually may cause some of the problems. Uh -huh. Much later in the disease, we often see that the insulin production and secretion decreases, but that's very late in the disease. So, as you can see, the obesity is driving the diabetic epi epidemic. Uh -huh. um, so, that's very interesting. So, what you're expressing is that the real issue in type 2 diabetes is resistance to insulin and that obesity and resistance to insulin are very much connected to each other. Yes. But one also has to understand that if you're obese, you're going to have insulin resistance with more insulin production. To become a type 2 diabetic, that insulin excess starts to fail. Uh -huh. So the beta cell is also predisposed to, to a degree of failure. Uh -huh. Not a total failure at the beginning, like in type 1, but a partial failure. And it's not so much that it cannot produce the insulin, it doesn't produce it at the right time. Uh -huh. And so you have all these issues leading to the high blood sugar in type 2. Oh, very interesting. 